This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Sway in the morning, no, Ruth. You'll see this. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Okay, we live on air. As long as you're comfortable, then you'll see this. Perfect. We got the one and only Ruth Pointer is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Yes, from the legendary Pointer Sisters. Yes. And she has a, a new book. It's called Still So Excited. Yes. Uh, my life as a Pointer Sister. Mm. Um, first of all, you know, Ruth, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm loving being here. I, I had to have you. You know, the Pointer Sisters have had a slew of, like, big, big records um, uh, throughout your throughout your career. Three Grammys and, you know. Four. You, four, excuse Ooh. me, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Four Grammys. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and when your, your name came across the board, they said, would you like to have Ruth Pointer on the show? And I was like, oh, my God. Homegirl. Yes, of yes. course I would, because what people don't realize is I'm from, well, they know I'm from Oakland, California. Wow. But I think a lot of folks forget that the Pointer Sisters. Oakland, California. Oakland, California. Yes. I didn't even know that. Knows how to party. Hey. 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 Right. Oh, yes. And Lord, I, that's and, my anthem. And I was telling Ruth uh, how, the, how my, my grandparents had a home on Campbell Street, which is in West Oakland. Okay. Right. Your family was in West Oakland? West folks? Oakland, right across the street from Defermery Park. Defermery Park. Wow. My sister used to take us to the center. Wow. And we used to do African dance lessons there. And they had a pool at Defermery, too, I believe. Well, yes. yes. I used to swim in that pool. Used 15 cents. Dang, I might have drank your pool. <laughs> <water. laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Freaky oh, tales ah, from Oakland. Yeah. Yeah. Water was sweet at the Oh, primary. yes, it was. Wow, what was that like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Ruth. <laughs> I thought everybody pisses in pools. Oh, nah. my God. <laughs> yeah, those were the know, days, baby. Yeah, they weren't they? Right? Shoot. Uh, did you go to elementary in um, Oakland? Went to Cole School. Went to Cole School. Wow. Went to Lowell Junior High. You went to Lowell. Oh, but the ultimate Mac. You went to McClimus. Went to Mac, baby. Mac Climus. What a dope it's, And it's school. prime. I was there you with my there. brothers playing basketball. Wow. First string. First. Paul th- Silas, my cousin. Yeah. Fritz and Aaron Pointer playing first string basketball. <gasps> One for nine years straight. T O C. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you like in high school? Were you like the popular girl? No, you... I was not. I was the I was the sister to the popular uh, boy mm. because my brother was student body president for two straight years, Aaron, and then my other brother, uh, Fritz. They were both on the first string basketball team. Yeah, and so I was known as. Aaron and Fritz's sister. Oh, so they were very overprotective. Did that like overprotective, and they were the stars, mm-hmm. all American athletes, got scholarships and everything. Sheesh. You know? so, yeah. So, so when when did um? How many kids were there? Six. Six kids. Four girls, two boys. Wow. Four girls and two boys. Um, and then and then y'all moved to Twenty Third Ave. Twenty Third Ave. When they kicked my dad out of the church, we was like, let's go. They oh, kicked no. your what they, why did they kick your dad out to church? Well, he had some daughters that were kind of wayward. Okay. You, so, <laughs> what a word. What, what you, what you, wayward. <laughs> That's an old word, ain't it? Wayward. What wayward does that <laughs> I was a wayward child. <laughs> what was that? Were y'all giving it up? I well, mean Well, you know. Preacher's daughter. I was just not having the whole Christian thing at that time. You know, okay. don't do I was the first oldest daughter and it was don't do this, don't uh-huh. do that, don't, 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 and I was just not having it. You wasn't feeling that I at wasn't all. Feeling that at all. All my <laughs> friends were having fun and I wanted to have fun too. Yeah, and so you got your father kicked <laughs> out of the church. <laughs> Yo, go on, get out, take your daughters with you. Yeah, right, right. I'm like, oh my God, really? We did that to daddy. Take oh your wayward God. daughters oh, out. Take your wayward daughters and did, go. Were you ever wayward at the actual church? Um, not the, not to my knowledge. I mean, my sisters and I, <laughs> they might have, they might have thought we were. Uh huh. Because unbe- you know, like a lot of people think we come from that church that rocks and rolls and sings gospel, and that wasn't our church. It yeah. was Church of God. And they sang a lot of boring songs. Mm-hmm. And when my sisters and I started singing together in my dad's church, we wanted to sing gospel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. when we started to sing gospel, they would get up and walk out. What? They would walk out. The congregation would leave the church because you were singing gospel? Not the whole congregation, but certain people. <laughs> so gospel was No, a- not gospel. Like, okay, it's all considered you you thinking of gospel, but then it's like the kind that you just got to get up yeah. and start. That's the kind that they get up and walk out. The purists is like, no, 
Oh, yeah. it's they, too they loud. They like to celebrate. Okay. It's not, it's just not the, sophisticated. Not, yeah. Okay, I get that. And, and, and so, <laughs> so after you got your, this, you and the sisters got the father kicked out of his church. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like repeating this. Right. <laughs> Yo, make sure y'all get the book. Rue Pointer's uh, still oh, so excited. So um, I want to talk about how did the uh, career start it, okay? And then I'm open up some phone lines, 888-742-3345. Let's take them back. Yeah. Sway in the morning, Shave 4-5. That's from that breakout album. The Pointer Sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Automatic. We have Ruth Pointer with us right now. Hello, New York. Now, Ruth, who was lead vocals on Automatic? Was that? That was me. That was you, right? That was me. Wow. So yeah. you you had automatic, which what which are the, the biggest hits you were primarily the, the lead vocalist? No, we okay. all sang lead. Yeah, everybody oh, sang wow. lead. Yeah, all of us did. And see that was something that made you guys unique in my yeah. opinion because yeah. usually at, at at that time you always had that primary lead vocalist. Uh-huh. And then you may have a second, but you guys Oh, my sisters were not having that. They weren't having that, huh? No. <laughs> Everybody wanted equal shine. Everybody wanted equal shine. <laughs> but were you guys like it was just a God given thing, or did you guys learn how to sing? Did you sit around like on Saturdays when most kids <clears throat> watch cartoons and watch TV shows where y'all just singing? Like how did it all come about? I think we uh were gifted really because Amen. it's amazing that each one of us had a range that fit us mm -hmm. and we weren't even aware of you know, that gift at the time. But we did used to sing all the cartoons. Our friends used to get <laughs> mad at us because we would sing all the cartoons, we'd yeah. sing all the commercials in the car, and, the, you know, they would come on the radio or television. But we started singing in my dad's church, mm. which is where we learned uh, things like soprano, alto, and, and how to yeah. blend with each other without singing the other person's part. Wow. Which is something we thought was pretty simple until we got into this business and found out that everybody couldn't do that. Not, no, hardly mm. anyone could you do know, that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We would about say, it. no, you sing this part, and then we'd sing our part, and they would start singing our part. And we'd, no, 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 you sing that part, <laughs> not my part. Uh -huh. And they was like, but I don't hear it. And we were like, what? Your part. You have a part. Yeah. Sing, just sing that. Don't mm -hmm. come over here with me. <laughs> me and my sisters used to fight over that. Yeah, I was going to ask that because we had Tony Braxton <clears> up here and she was talking about, you know, everyone was equal between her and her sisters. Mm -hmm. And then when it came time to have an interview, you know, a conversation with the suits, they pointed at her as you're going to be the lead. You're oh. going to be the solo. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And there was tension. Yeah. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah. I, I, I love those sisters so much, and I, I can so identify with a lot of that. I right. Really can. Was there tension amongst you guys, though, at all? Um, not a lot, no, no. Um, you know, when we started singing, we would, we would just uh, sing a lead part for a particular song, and whoever sang it the best, that was it. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, that was it. Oh well, I like the way you sang that. Okay, you and got you that. Song. Okay, let yeah. me call my see if she'll pick up. Man, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Not at all, Ruth. I'm gonna call my mother. Just, Please. just you know, she grew up in Oakland. <laughs> so let me see if she picks up. This is uh, whenever I, I call her, it's just the most interesting thing is how she answers the phone. <laughs> You're really blessing your mother, so. I know. Let's see if this works out. She doesn't know I'm calling. She's on the West Coast right now. Wow. Eight a.m. Yeah. there. Hey, hey, Ma, you live on the air, Ma. Okay, can you hear me? Ma, you live on the air, Ma. Oh, okay. Okay, get it together. Get it together, Ma. You know, what, you, you, know, you know what this is. You know anytime I call you this early in the morning, I got a superstar guest on the show. I'm going to surprise you who I got. You ready? <laughs> oh. I'm ready. Oh. I got Ruth Pointer. From the Pointer Sisters on the show with us right now. Hey, Mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, Oakland. Oakland girl. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mount, right? What? Then you go to Castle Now, my sister June went to Castle Mount. I went to Mac, baby. You went where? I was at Mac, McClyman's. Oh, McClyman's. Yes. Oh. All right, then. I know it well. I know it well down there on Grove. Yeah, but you guys was the one who kicked butt everybody. Didn't we, though? Yeah. Yeah, they were scared of us. 
I know. I love that school. There's not enough recognition about that school. It was so great. Yeah, a lot of things came out of that school. So great. So great. Hey, yeah. hey Ma, any any um like old school rumors you want to ask her about since I got her here? Ruth is on the air. <laughs> Bonnie's fine. Yeah, Bonnie oh, and good. Anita both are fine. They're in Los and Angeles. Sister. My, my baby sister's passed on June. He did? Yeah, 2006. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. You guys were so phenomenal. Thank I'm you so you much. Broke, oh, you, you broke the rules. You Thank know what you. I'm saying? Yeah, I know. <laughs> came, up, came in. I, I, I got your. Uh, I'm so excited. It's my, uh, my uh, calling. All right. A ringtone? Uh, oh, my God. I love that. Yes, girl. Yeah, I got all your music, all your music. And Thank I you. I support you guys. You, I mean, you get Oakland proud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Mom, I'm going I'm to I'm get her book autograph for you and bring it home, okay? I appreciate it. Okay. Now, you got a book out? Yes, girl. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes, oh. I do. I need to read that. You do. <laughs> you uh, do need to read that. I got you, Ma. Okay, go back to sleep. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank okay. you. Okay, take care, Ruth. You God too, bless. darling. Nice talking to you. You too, sweetie. What about me, okay. Ma? Is it <laughs> nice talking All to right. me? <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gave out that government. That's the so. rumor you wanted. <laughs> Your mom always oh. give it up, huh, Sway? Oh <laughs> Jen's <laughs> come at the end. Yeah. What's her name? She's her, her name is Patricia. Patricia. Oh, Patricia. I, I, yeah, I, we can sign that. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about your um, uh, June. Like, the, 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 I remember as a child, people <clears throat> said that the Pointer Sisters, one of the Pointer Sisters, went crazy. Mm. And uh, I think they were referring to June, if I'm not mistaken. They might have been. Okay, it could have been, been you. It could have been you. I, I know. know. <laughs> it could have been you, though. Could have been me. What happened with June? <laughs> did she have like mental issues, or did they put her in a, um, you know, one of those institutions? Or she did, but it was a result of a rape, a gang really? rape. Oh wow! See, we yeah. didn't know that. See, I, people I did. don't know. You know, I didn't hear that. What yeah, happened? Gang rape when she was like uh, 14, 15 years old. In, wow. o- in Oakland, and uh, she never revealed who it was, even though she knew. And um, it just traumatized her, I believe, for the rest of her life. Mm-hmm. You know, and at that time, there were not, um, you know, facilities or, or, or things that could help you with that kind of trauma. You know, uh, counseling, mm-hmm. and they probably tried some things, but it wasn't like it is today, where you can really get a lot of help for mm-hmm. mental trauma. That that on um, what about the family? How did the, was everybody in the family aware of it initially? Or we were all aware of it, but it wasn't a whole lot that we knew how to do. Mm-hmm. We didn't know how to handle that kind of thing. You know, back then, I think a lot of families that may have gone through that type of trauma just kind of kept it quiet or kept it in the family. Mm-hmm. And my parents didn't know how to deal with that type of thing. You know, my mother had some brothers that were ready to deal with it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. In a yeah. real ugly way. But yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> my was mom a... was like, oh, please, Lord, please, Lord. Yeah. You know, but. Well, how did the, like, because once you guys became a group and became people, fame can be, you know, from the outside looking in, it may seem like, damn, I would love to be famous. I don't understand why people complain about fame or or being rich. But it also, it could, it could have a backlash. It's a yeah. dark side to that. How did she handle the fame with 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 those um, those demons she had? It was hard because when fame hit, I think the actual singing uh, ability that June had and that we all shared together saved her. Mm-hmm. You know, I really believe that that was cathartic for her, and I know it was for me. Um, but fame is a commitment. You know, and mm-hmm. a lot of things that people jump on the bandwagon and want you to do, June was just not having it. Yeah, yeah. You know, certain things like, simple things like interviews or television shows or uh, even like our first um, uh, invite to do Vegas. Mm-hmm. June was like, nope, not doing that. Really? Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah. She probably just didn't feel like she wanted to do it. Okay. Yeah, I think it was too soon looking back. Yeah. You know, Uh that was a big deal Uh in front of that audience, you know, and we I don't think we were uh, emotionally or professionally ready for that, even though we tried to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, tried to do it anyway. Got to get paid, you know, Yeah, got to make that money. What kind of demons did you deal with? Because just reading through the book, there was um, 
a chapter where you talked about where at one point you were selling weed and doing mm-hmm. whatever you can to make mm-hmm. ends meet. Yeah, I I had a, a being from f- Oakland. It didn't shock me though. But you know, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She sold weed. Who, who, who wasn't selling weed? weed? You know, like <laughs> so weed, weed? man. Yeah, right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a period of time when um, you know that wasn't a big deal. Oakland, yeah. San Francisco. I mean, you know, it was sixties. Yeah. Late sixties, early seventies, and and um, we were just fitting in. I was anyway. I was just trying to fit in with the crowd and have a good time. And I was uh, married to in my first marriage and had two children. And my first relationship was extremely abusive, uh-huh. which is something I never knew about because my parents never did fight. Yeah, but uh-huh. uh, I was getting pretty pretty well beat up and kicked around on a on a regular basis. And I just thought once I could get away from this person that I would be okay, Mm -hmm. not even realizing that that kind of trauma, even that, would stay with me for the rest of my life and affect me in some kind of way I didn't know. But uh, trying to cover up certain things, I would drink or take some pills and not realizing that that was going to escalate into some other form of substance. And, you know, here, take a little bit of this and try that. It'll make you forget about all your problems and Next thing you know, I'm addicted. You got addicted. Yeah. What What was your um, addiction of choice? Would you say? Cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine. The chapter coke. is called "Things Go Better with Coke." There you go. <laughs> no, I yeah. was stuck on that yeah, chapter. Yeah, yeah. Especially because a lot of women will not admit to having an affair. Right. Either. Right, yeah. Right. And it was during you know it was during the time when uh, Twiggy was our 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 spokes girl for fashion, and she was about. That big, yeah, supermodel and Twiggy. God yeah. forbid you had hips back then, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, you know, you wanted to be thin, and I wanted to be thin, so doctors were throwing out diet pills without any kind of you know reservations about it. My mom kept them in the house all the time, uh-huh. and I started taking them, didn't think anything was wrong with that, you know, and Gave me a lot of zip and zap all around the house, just <laughs> doing everything that everybody wanted done. And my mom loved it when I took those pills. <laughs> house was immaculate. Hey, I would be up all hours of the night ironing. We used to iron back then. <laughs> Starch and iron. Starch and iron. You yes. got to feel like razor yes. blades. Yes. And, um, it, you know, it just escalated into something that I controlled me. Yeah. Mm. How did you begin to control it, though? I got sick. Uh-huh. That was what happened. I got sick and I had I contracted my viral meningitis and uh-huh. I started taking a look at my health because I still had children to support and I was a single parent and uh-huh. I thought, okay, I can't leave here just yet because I got stuff to do. My kids are depending on only me. That's all they got. Wow. Wow. Ruth so Ru- Ru- Pointer is here. Yeah. With all of these, everything that you was carrying, everything that you were doing, what makes you then decide, let me write a book? Or did someone convince you? Someone convinced me. <laughs> you know, I, I have been talking to friends and, and, and you know, colleagues and, and over the years, and people have said, you need to write a book. You need to write a book. And the opportunity came to me mm-hmm. through a friend who is my book partner, Marshall Terrell, who uh, wrote this book with me, mm-hmm. actually, um, with a project called Rock and a Heart Place. Mm. And it was a compilation of ten other well, nine other uh, people that were members of some sort of band, and um, Ozzy Osbourne, Prince, um, Ronettes, mm-hmm. and uh, they were telling their story of, of, of you know, trauma and, and, and addictions and redemption, and he called uh, my manager and asked if I would be interested in this project for a short story, and I said, sure. And that's how it happened. He and I got talking, making, you know, just getting information about this short story, and he said, I know there's way more than, than yeah. what you're telling yeah. me to this. Yeah. He says, have you ever thought about writing a book on your own, just about you? And I said, well, I've thought about it, but I just haven't met the right person. Mm-hmm. To I had actually started uh, a project, a book on my own, with another um, publisher mm-hmm. and another writer, but it didn't go anywhere. So I just kind of dropped the whole idea. And uh, well, the this one. This person one. said he could do it. This book right here is this an is interest. This is the one. Still so excited. Uh, my life as a Pointer sister, Ruth Pointer, is here with us. I want to take one or two callers. Um, we got Judy on the line. You from Oakland, Judy? Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. Yes, I'm from the Maxwell Park area. Hello. All right. High Street. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. You know, I just want to say you guys have a wonderful show. I love everyone there. And to Ruth, um, my father 
he, they called him D.C. Barner when you guys were young. He said he spent a lot of time at your house. And wow. I just wanted to say that he said you guys were always great and wonderful and nice to him, and he loves your family. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, you're wow. so welcome. Wow. Yeah, my parents and my grandfather loved people, and we would feed them breakfast and before yes. school, and all wow. the cheerleaders would gang up at our house, and it was a good time. It was a good, it was a good time. time. Hey, Judy, you're a citizen. A sway in the morning. Thanks for your call. Let's thank go to uh, right North here. Carolina right now. Kawana, what up, Kawana? Hey, good Kiwana. morning. Hey, Kawana. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Say hello to Ruth Pointer. I listen to you every morning, Sway. Oh, thank you. You're a citizen. A sway in the morning. <laughs> yes, I am a citizen. And I just uh, turned on this morning, and I seen the Pointer sisters. I said, Lord Jesus. Oh, you bless really you. You get me pumping this morning, huh? Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, I mean, I still got your albums on vinyl. Mm. And I just can't believe it. I, you know, all I can say is you guys were wonderful. You Thank know? you so much. Thank you. All right. And I, it's just a blessing that you know you're still here. And it is a just blessing. The love, you know. Thank you so much. Hey, Kawana, get the new book. It's available too. You can go online and get it. It's called uh, "Still So Excited" by Ruth Pointer. We'll take one more call. Uh, Joe. Good morning, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Joe, you there? Uh, oh, I didn't hit Joe. Hold up, man. Hold on. There's a new system here, Ruth. It's a new system. Hold Joe. up. Oh, that's Kawana. Hold on. Let me drop Kawana. Let's go back to Joe here. Joe? Joe, Joe, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Hey. Hey, oh, Joe. All right, now. All right. Hey, I, hey, Ruth, I saw you and your sisters perform with the Temptations oh. in Paris, France. Oh, my God. Wow. Now, that go back, don't it? It does. Yes. It really does. Yeah, it was like in, in the 90s. And and y'all y'all tore it up, Thank you. and I was just it, it was it was just great. Wow. And also, I just want to tell you, just give you encouragement. Thank, Thank you for you. putting out the book, and it's just great that you know a lot of people go through different things, and there is redemption. You can overcome. Yes, you if can. You dig down, and you have God with in your life. Right and there. You can do. You, anybody can do anything and overcome anything. And I'm a personal witness. So I just encourage you in what you're doing and wish you all the best and God bless you. Oh, thank you, you so, so much. Joe, God you're a citizen, you. man. Sway in the morning. Thank you. know, you. wow, you that was great. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Ruth, you got us. You, test, you got us testifying. Church up in here. That, that, right. that real gospel. Come oh, on. hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you leave, though, Ruth, we have to, uh, we have to um, you know, make you a part of the show. And, okay. and one way we do it is usually our first guest have to stick their hands in my sack. Oh. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> it's Sway's mystery sack Ruth, on Ruth. Shade 45. Yeah, that's, that's my sack right there. You know. This is Duke. the gold sack of Sway, Ruth. You have to stick your hand in, pull out one question at a time. You're going to do three. Read okay, it out loud. Okay, okay. You're way work. I don't have my easy. glasses, so I hope I can okay, see Heather, it. Help, help her out. Help her out, Heather B. Heather B got her. Uh, Heather, they say well, let me read it then. Here, yeah. I can read it. All right. <laughs> that feels weird, me reading it. Tracy, you read it. <laughs> right, okay, right, here, Tracy, you read it. I can she's read She's a young one, right? Yeah, she's a young one. She got them young eyes. Look at those young wayward. The young wayward one. wayward. All right, you ready? Yes. Who's the biggest VIP you have in your phone book? Ooh, in my phone book? Ooh. Wow. Well, I have to say it's a person that I was very close to, and her name is still in my Ooh, you're going to make me cry. <sighs> Natalie. It's Natalie Cole. Wow. Natalie Cole. Yep. That's interesting because you yeah. guys, y'all had a, you, you, I'm sure y'all did a lot of runs together. We did a she, lot of runs together, and I was actually um, talking to her on the phone the last two weeks of her life. Um, wow. Not directly, but my stylist that works with us on the road is her best friend. Uh, and so w- she was giving me blow by blow every day of her condition and up and, you know, right down to the last moments. and. And actually had asked Al, um, Natalie to write the foreword in my book, but she graciously said, I, I, you know, I would love to if I were in better shape. Mm-hmm. She couldn't do it. She couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you share a moment <coughs> of her, but like, you know, in the prime time yeah. when, when the hits were the hits and y'all was on the roll? Yes. This will be. Yes, mm. yes. We and were actually like- a part of the uh, Tokyo Music Festival in 1994. I think me, mm. Natalie, my sisters and I, Natalie and Shaka. 
Wow, Shaka Khan. Wow. Yes. And we were having so much fun over there in Tokyo. And I think uh, one of the judges happened to be Natalie's godfather. Uh -huh. And we'd love, okay, then Natalie, you got this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. And sure enough, okay. Natalie went, yeah. took first. Pointer Sisters took second, and Shaka came in third. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That's a great story that's right fine. there. Thank you for sharing that. You still got to pick up two more questions off yeah, my side. Yeah, I got you, so okay. you make it okay. see out of those. I got my hand in the sack. Oh, got it in the sack. Yeah, you know what to do. You make yeah. it see out of these, Ruth. <laughs> okay, okay. Being so see. wayward, uh, Ruth knew exactly where to go, the middle of the sack. There you go. Oh, Ooh, God. the middle of the sack. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do those work? <laughs> the glasses this work? This says, describe your worst day at any job. Wow. Probably the day that I got fired. Okay. <laughs> you know, from a job that, that I thought I had. Well, and um, why they fire how'd you? How'd you get yeah. Wayward. <laughs> yeah, they was they was wayward. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I showed them, didn't okay. I? Mm -hmm. It's the last hand, uh last time you go in my sack. Ooh. Okay. I got Ruth Pointer sticking her hands in, in my sack. sack. Lucky guy. What's the most materialistic purchase you've ever made? but love dearly. <laughs> oh, materialistic, huh? I would have to say it's this watch that I have on. The one that you have on right now? Mm -hmm. I was looking at that watch, mm -hmm. too. I was wondering. Cartier Pasha. Oh, Come on, Hello. yo. Okay. Put the accent on All right. it, too. Merci. <laughs> Over 30-something years ago, I bought this wow. watch. Wow. And, and, and my, my accountants were having a fit when I told them I was getting ready to put this on my Diners Club card. Uh -huh. Diners Club. Yes. They said, no, no, don't do it. I said, oh, I'm doing it. I am doing it, and, and I don't regret it. And it still works 30 years later. Are you kidding me? It better work. <laughs> it's <laughs> the same color 30 years later, right. so you know what that it means. It better work. Ruth Pointer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Look, in closing, will you, will you see, like, uh, electrifying artists like a... Uh, like a Beyonce or, or 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 even a Rihanna or some of these young artists that mm -hmm. are now uh, walking the same footsteps you guys have. What, what advice would you give them? You know, wow, take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, take care of your health. That's probably the most important thing because you know if you got your health, you got anything. Yeah. you got everything. You know, and hopefully you got some kind of faith that you can hang on to. You know, because mm -hmm. it's hard. It's you hard. Know, it's yeah. hard being out there, especially being a woman. You know, you want a family and these young ladies coming up and they got children now Beyonce has you know a child mm -hmm. and, and it's tough you know when you have to leave your child and go to work and baby's sick mm -hmm. I mean just coming here even yesterday my daughter 22 years old but she's still my baby you know calling me crying mom oh my god this and that I'm like oh god really honey I gotta go sell this book yeah I gotta go to work yeah you know yeah but um it is what it is and you just have to take care of yourself and try to be um, a power of example, I would say. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because kids may not do what you do, but they'll do do what you say, but they'll do what you do. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. Ruth Pointer, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Love we thank got you royalty so bless our yeah. airways. Thank you. Thank you uh, still so, much. so excited. Make sure you pick up the book. Uh, Ruth, come back anytime, okay? Anytime. I this, love you guys. It's not it. You, you know, too. we got to look out too. for our thank Oakland you. residents, okay? Yeah. Okay, town business, all right? <laughs> yes. We got Yo Gotti up next, 888-742-3345. You want to talk to Yo Gotti, give us a call. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shea 45. <laughs>